Hello, welcome to this video. This is lesson 3-3, the essentials of calculus. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the chain rule and the general power rule. Um, the chain rule, widely important. You're going to be using this um, for the rest of your calculus days. And um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cover some examples and then um, we'll also talk about uh, function composition, which can be um, pretty difficult. I, I want to um, equate the chain rule. So here we have uh, the, the general power rule. Let me get my, <clears throat> my drawing, okay, which is kind of like the, um, the chain rule here. Okay, so if I want to take the, the derivative of an object, okay, I can take the derivative of it, but then I have what's called a, a, a hook on factor or a, a part in between or inside of that function that I also need to differentiate. Okay, um, and I kind of like to think about this in my mind, this is the way it works. Well, um, I equate it to these Russian nesting dolls, right? And if you know me, uh, if you have my class, I, I like Toy Story. Um, these are in Toy Story 2, right? These Russian dolls that pop out of each other, okay? So you can take the chain rule of one object, but then you also have to take, the, or sorry, you can take the derivative of an object, but then you also have to take the derivative of the, the thing that's inside of it, okay? So um, we call this the, the, the hook on factor. So here I just want to cover this. Um, the derivative of u raised to the power of n, so if we use the power rule, it's n times u to the power of n minus 1, but then you also have to take the derivative of whatever u is or whatever is inside, okay? Um, so they call this the, the hook on factor, okay? Um, but we're going to go ahead and, and look at some, some examples here, okay? So um, example 1, it says differentiate f prime, or sorry, f of x. So before, what we had to do in order to differentiate this, you had to use either the product rule, you had to expand this out, right, um, and go ahead and foil it, and I could use power rule, or I just expand it, right, and use the, the product rule. Here, what we can do is I can use the, the chain rule or the general power rule. So f prime of x is equal to, so I'm going to take um, this object, so this is u, right, u raised to the power, so... 2 times u, so x2 minus 3, and then the power drops by 1, okay, to 1, times, now I have to take the derivative of the inside, okay, so the, this is what's called the chain rule, kind of links on, if you will, so times 2x, and that's it, that is the, the general power rule, okay, let's go ahead and look at number 2, on number 2, Number two, I'm going to adjust this function to where it is in a uh, rational exponent form. So 2x squared minus x raised to the power of 3 halves. Okay, and I'm now going to take g prime of this. So I'm going to use my power rule. So 3 halves times my object. So 2x squared minus x, and I have to drop my power, so I subtract 1. Okay, now to the power of 1 half, and now I have to take the derivative of the inside, right? That links on, hence the term chain rule. So I have 2x uh, squared, so that's 4x, okay, times, or sorry, minus x, which is minus 1. Okay, and that is your derivative. Pretty simple, right? Okay, and then number 3. So number 3, if my computer will cooperate. On number three, um, what we have here is, is a combination. I have the product rule, and then we're also going to have to have the chain rule. Um, but I'm going to rewrite this. So this is 3x squared times, and again, I'll, I'll put it in rational exponent form. So 9 minus 4x squared raised to the power of 1 third. Okay? So Let's go ahead and take f prime of x. So what we have is the first 3x squared, right? This first piece times the derivative of the second. And I'm going to use brackets here because this is going to be kind of long. So when I take the derivative of, of this object, I'm going to have to use the chain rule. So 1 third 9 minus 4x squared. 
Okay, raised to the power of negative 2 thirds. Okay, times, now I have to take the derivative of the inside, which would be negative 8x. Okay, and that's that. Plus, right, because I have to take, um, I have to use the product rule. So the derivative of the first, so 6x times the second, okay, which is 9 minus 4x squared to the power of negative 2 thirds. Okay, there's your derivative. Long and ugly, but that's what it is, okay? Um, so that is the general power rule, also known as, as the chain rule. Um, so down here, we're going to look at compositions. Now, if we think about the, the chain rule, the general power rule in terms of compositions, um, if I want to take the, the derivative of a function, okay, which has another function within it, well, this is the derivative of that outside function, f prime, of that interior function times the derivative of the inside. Okay, so that is the chain rule. Okay, um, so what we're going to do here is um, we're going to look at an example. They want us to find the derivative of p of q of x at x equals 2. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this down. So d dx of p of q of x. Okay, and actually it's not at x, it is at 2. They want x to be equal to 2. Okay, so I'm just going to use the chain rule up here. So I have the derivative of the outside, so p prime of q of 2. And I know you're looking at this and you're like, what? What is this? This looks complicated. Just chill a second. It becomes easier, I promise. Okay, times the, the inside, so... The derivative of the inside, so q prime of two. Okay, so that's that's all I did. As I expanded it according to the the definition up here, um, and now what I'm going to do, they give you information. So they gave us all this information, and now we're going to go ahead and um, plug it in. Okay, so q prime of of two. Let me erase all this, and I'll highlight as I go. So q prime of 2, I want that. Well, they told us q, sorry, that's p. q prime of 2 is 3. Okay, so I'm going to go p prime of 3 times q prime of 2. Okay, well, now I want to go ahead and I want to find p prime of 3. Okay, so what is... P prime, P prime, P prime, uh, P prime of three. That is four. Okay, so I'll write four times Q prime of two. Okay, and Q prime of two is two. Four times two, eight. Okay, and that is the answer. All right. Uh, in this video, we talked about the chain rule, the, aka the general power rule, um, and uh, we kind of differentiated those right between the the product rule and our, our um, power rule that we first learned. Okay, and we also looked at composition examples. All right, I'll catch you next time. Work hard, be easy. Peace.